I've been thinking a lot about just how good Rob Dillingham's offense can be. Because where does he fall on the scale from like quickly to Lou Williams to Garland to Trey Young? I'm really curious about a question like this. So we're going to watch a cut up of a bunch of his offensive possessions from the last couple games to try to figure out how good of an offensive player Rob is. He is a very good offensive player, no doubt. But we're going to break down his offense in depth and talk about why I think he is a top three pick. And part of it is the shooting range, right? Rob doesn't have the cleanest mechanics in the world, but yeah, the lower body flails around, but his touch is just stellar. It is special, special touch. And that touch is, oh my goodness, I forgot about that cross. Dillingham, obviously the best ball handler in the draft. Rob with the shifts, gonna cross over hit that little float to the right, and his playmaking is is really good and creative, but he definitely does miss some reads. Like, Rob probably has Ivisic on the pass here, but it's not the easiest play. He is shorter, right, and that hurts his vision, but he's able to cross over, hit the kind of crazy balance floater. He has some of the most ridiculous touch that I have seen in a minute, honestly. Obviously, that helps him pull from way downtown, and his ability to spread out the defense by shooting from range is really, really good. It's it just expands the space he has to work and drive. And this is an interesting play because I like the idea here, right? Rob gets downhill and there's a shooter out in the corner that he's clearly trying to hit. Rob can't get the pass around, but I like the vision overall. The accuracy and maybe just like the strength here, not great. But overall, I think the vision there is really positive. And I think that is kind of what Rob does. He finds creative solutions to stuff. He's just got the natural flair and playmaking instinct that you want from your, you know, elite guards. He has that ability to create stuff off the fly without, you know, out of the structure of an offense. And that's a rare trait. And that's a trait that usually... Leads guys to have pretty high ceilings, and man, this is beautiful. Rob again, pushing in transition. Quick change of direction with the behind the back and drives, and it's a little like running hook shot. He loves to kind of lean into the baseline away from help because, you know, he's not the biggest guy in the world, and just feather in these little running hooks. And though he's not the best, like, in the restricted area as a finisher, right, he, he can definitely struggle there. He's so good at getting to his spots and just pulling pulling from deep. Rob has absolutely no conscience. Really nice burst here off the off the catch, I guess. Um, and man, that's just so impressive. It's kind of, he's not the athlete Tyrese Maxey was, but he has some of the same finishing goodness with his touch and his craft. Great burst off the catch. Easy win baseline. Jumps off his wrong left foot with the left hand over an incredibly good contest through that contact. It's like, that's, that's just such an impressive finish, the balance, the poise, the body control. And these are the kind of plays that, you know, makes Rob special. It makes him one of the most unique and dynamic offensive players in this draft. Again, I think maybe Rob could have hit, eh, could he have hit Ivisage here? Probably not. I don't know. I think that it probably was the right play not to. But Rob is a really great off-ball player, as we've kind of been seeing. Like, that's one of my favorite things about him, is that he is a really willing shooter and attacker off the catch, and whoo, ends up drawing a foul there. But we again see burst attacking off the catch, suddenness into the paint. Nice job, like, scooping and drawing a foul. He definitely likes to try tough finishes, like, that's for sure, right? But obviously, he has the thing where he can, he can make them, so it's like, I get why he's eager to try insane shots and I really like this read here Dillingham gets downhill and definitely sees his big right here looks like it honestly hit Onyenso in the hands of the chest and that probably should have been a catch but again we see that the the vision hitting laydowns off of a live dribble Rob gets into the paint on his own, right? He, he creates shots, he creates opportunities by himself, and obviously he can convert them for himself, but he's really good at converting for teammates. Once again, we got Rob moving off the ball, opening himself up for a shot, right? He initially like fakes the screen, notices the open corner, sprints out there, and Rob just has a knack for this kind of off-ball spacing stuff where he always seems to be 
excuse me, in the right position. And he always seems to be getting open to his teammates, which is obviously a huge, huge thing to have. Rob, very confident catch and shoot always going to take it when he's open, which is great. Or even when he's not that open, which, you know, is what it is. But Rob's ability to, to take and make those open catch and shoot jumpers helps his ability to shoot off the catch and succeed more, again, as an off-ball player. That's part of why Rob is so interesting to me because not only can he you know, handle the ball, run pick and rolls, but he's really great as an off guard too. Not just an elite off the catch shooter, but oh my goodness, I love watching Rob dribble the ball. Just so many counters, the the creativity, the ability to keep his dribble alive. And then, you know, knowing your limits, right? Smart to pick up there and not overextend, then turn the ball over. Another really nice cut there. Reed finds him and he can't hit that right there. But we see, again, constantly moving off of ball, working into space, not, you know, leaving his teammates out to dry. I think that's going to be really good for him. Kind of gets shut down there. Definitely can be vulnerable to a dig, right? The the size and the strength isn't super great. And against big, long NBA-level defenders like Solomon Washington, he's going to struggle at times to finish over them and to make the make the kind of plays that he needs to make there. But those are all, you know, the concerns that are going to come with his size. And then I believe he turns it over right here. Yeah, just trying to kind of do too much dribble himself into traffic that's definitely a symptom of a lot of young ball handlers right is that over dribbling the dribbling themselves into problems and i think a lot of it is because most of them are really good dribblers right they can get away with it at this level but at the nba level especially right it's more important to pick your spots and to be careful with the places you go with your handle but obviously i think rob has all the tools in the world and can totally develop into that guy more great off ball play by the way here initiates this drive kicks out relocates right back to the three and um i mean he should have stepped back beyond the three-point line but again moving himself open off the ball we've seen it throughout this game throughout these clips and rob does that throughout this season despite being a dynamic on-ball creator and man he, look at look at him again moving off reed shepherd pump fake ends up losing the ball there but i think that the beginning of the play is positive even though he can you know be a little loose with the ball there um maybe trying to do too much or be a little loose and you know flexible with the ball there is this a foul i think this he just loses the ball out of bounds or no it's a foul yeah i mean rob definitely isn't able to move people right he's he's gonna get walled off by strength and by, by taller guys and that's just kind of how one of the the consolations right you're gonna have to make with a player as talented as him great pass out there i don't know why reed didn't shoot the ball um i guess he was kind of falling out of bounds but not really anyways Rob again, he was absurd in this Texas A&M game. He was just cooking them as he continued to pour in jumper after jumper. One of those guys who is like a real microwave in that when he's hot and when he's on, it is very difficult to stop him. And he's wired like a star. And what do you mean by that, right? He's wired to take games over and take big shots and like, you know, be confident in those big moments. And I think that matters, right? Like, he is always aggressive, and whoa, that's a beautiful play right there. Rob attacking off the catch, blow by burst, hits the open lay down. And I think that, that was again, right? Like attacking off the catch. Doesn't so many young guards will get the ball in this position and they'll pause, they'll take a beat, they'll wait. But Rob knows that this defender's off balance, so he's gonna go immediately and end up generating a wide open layup. It's not a common thing, and it's honestly really surprising to me because he wasn't really that great of an off-ball player in high school or in, in overtime elite. To be fair, they didn't really ask him to do it much at all. Um, this this is one of my favorite passes for his from his all season. I I remember this pass ends up exploding baseline, hangs on one foot, and bounces it around to Trey Mitchell in the paint. Like this is this is the kind of like creativity and passing ingenuity that you know your Trey Lamelo. Jokic types display right I don't, I'm not saying he's that good of a passer but it's this kind of like ingenuity and problem solving on the fly that I think Rob is really good at and you know combined with the fact that he is undoubtedly a real hooper like you know <laughs> he, he has the hooper gene on lock and but he's also a really willing and 
diverse and high level passer honestly I, I i really do think rob is an excellent excellent playmaker as decent job getting to his spot here right he's able to use his handle to snake through traffic um get to the right block but you know like again against an nba level wing defender some of the the finishing through contact stuff is pretty brutal at this stage of his career just doesn't have the strength or the vertical pop at this point and that's probably always going to be somewhat of a limitation as it is for many small guards man, sh man shout out solomon washington one, one of my favorite underrated prospects in the country just for stuff for stuff like this being able to lock down some of the most explosive guards in the league but again rob moving off ball ends up getting blocked there i believe yeah um he was so so good in this game and that again that ability to take over games offensively is is a real skill combined with his off ball work right like he can play pitch and catch with a big and then play off ball cut attack closeouts and stuff good pass there you know garbage time whatever um he can play catch he can play catch and pitch with the big but he can also run pick and rolls he can also take the game over um by himself and having that like combination of traits to me once again we see him Ooh, this is this was nice this was really nice okay Let's break this down. Rob attacking off the catch, right? Immediate, decisive, not waiting at all, which is so valuable. And then he throws back Meshack, like maybe a little bit of, an, of, of a push off there, but nice. Like his leverage really helps him move people, right? Because Rob isn't strong, but he gets so low because of his you know flexibility and handle and control that he can bump guys out of the way at times. Not really because he's stronger than them, but you know, low man wins. That's, that's how it goes. And this was... A, this is definitely a quieter game for Rob. I remember this game. But as always, going to be flashes. Rob breaks down the scoby with this cross, sets it up, explodes, hops into a little... Was that with one? Was that with his left? Yeah, that was with his left. Rob is just a phenomenal, ambidextrous touch, right? Can, can finish and has the elite finishing ability, not just with his strong hand, but also with his weak hand, which is rare very rare um that wasn't great right against no another like nba quality athlete at least in, in mayshack sometimes he doesn't have that initial burst right he can't separate all the way downhill and he doesn't have the strength or explosion to finish these plays towards the end um in that intermediate right getting to the spots he can do but pushing off and, and getting getting the ne necessary like physical space there can be a bit of a bit of a challenge against these like bigger wing defenders who are giving him problems and I can imagine will give him problems in the NBA quick little extra pass over to Reed Shepard right there Holland again not Holland <laughs> I have Ron Holland on the brain but Dillingham is going to get the ball at the top of the key high spread pick and roll reject and no finish so again really great job baiting the ball the ball defender into the screen before snatching back and getting an easy runway i do wish he wouldn't pick the ball up so early i say this in basically every video where i'm talking about ball handler where if rob just takes one more dribble here he can probe or like tj mcconnell like nash dribble around the baseline or wait for his big to roll right if you kind of pause and take a second this pass to the center is going to be open but he just kind of rushes a little bit this is where I think, you know, his score first wiring can, can show up, right? Maybe he's not always ready to, like, pass out of those spread pick and rolls or audible on the fly, right, into a decision like that. It's certainly you know, far from perfect, as, as, as is the case for most college freshmen. But Rob is good but not great, and whew, that is a beautiful, beautiful pull-up jumper. NBA, probably close to NBA range. The release is weird. I, I, I don't really know what exactly what's weird about it aside from just like the lower body being super out of whack but if it ain't broke don't fix it like honestly when it comes to these kind of jump shot stuff and making tweaks is going to be good right and i'm sure they're they're going to tweak it and work with the lower body but overall like rob is an incredible incredible shooter so i don't think destroying his shot mechanics or anything is a good call right because when you have a guy who's this great of a shooter it's like okay i trust him and we see again him struggle with Meshack, right? Doesn't have the burst to blow by. He gets stripped, right? And this is just <laughs> this is just a really high quality high quality on ball defender. But these are the kind of athletes that Rob's gonna have to deal with, right? Who can get physical with him, be in his chest, and 
really pressure the handle with that physicality and strength. And I think that's going to be an adjustment for him learning. And I, I do love this Tennessee matchup because they're just like so brutish and physical in like such a great way defensively, right? All of these guys are huge and athletic and I think, and they're, and like they're huge, athletic, smart defenders. So I love them as a test for like Robin also like any prospect, but he's able to get, get a corner on, on Meshack there. This Tennessee defense is tough, man. It does not. It does not look. It does not look fun to play against. I, I must say that. What on earth happened here? <laughs> Once again, we. I, I see some stuff I like and stuff I don't like. I like Rob moving to where you know he sees Ivisic cutting. Right, that's going to draw in the help moving to where the help isn't. But again, struggling to separate from Meshack, struggling to get away from that high level on ball defender and i think th this was a really good like two game sequence right that the a m game where he was dominating getting to all of his spots and then the tennessee game where he's having a bit more trouble with the the more high level pro 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 athlete type defenders so a, a good mix of some of his pros and some of his cons and why i think ultimately like i said i view him as more of like an off combo instead of a true like primary on ball all the time guard one right because of how good he is as an off ball player but also i think he doesn't have maybe the the burst or explosion to or the elite enough burst or explosion to be a full-time on ball creator but who knows maybe i'll be wrong and damn he looks pretty bursty in in this example right see this time mayshack is kind of sagging off doesn't get a hand on him and unimpeded rob can just zoom to the rim and i don't know like that's a shot he makes quite a bit so i'm generally okay with that release but we see like man like when he has the space and when he has the room he can burn even these high high level defenders and yeah, Rob's going to turn the ball over there, um, and this game is basically over, right? Or, yeah, they're just going to let Rob get free throws. Um, we can watch a couple more, because I'm very much enjoying the Rob Dillingham experience here. Um, he's he's just such a fun player, man. He's so fun. This draft, aside from being bad to me, is also just not very fun. And Rob being one of those like extremely exciting players, like even in his bad games, he it, it's gonna be entertaining, right? Like even in the games where Rob struggles more, it's gonna be a really fun watch. And we see Rob here attacking off the catch, decisive. Hmm. I kind of wish he would just shoot the ball there, but I do see what he was thinking. Um, where this time Rob is going to try and attack like beautiful long strides late timing like varying up the the pace of his drive slowing down i do see what he, he was going for this is like a the, great read honestly um noticing two cutters but the defender ends up getting a hand on that and it doesn't get through but again we see the vision the creativity not always perfect process and it doesn't always work out right but more important to me is to see the feel to see the ideas and because you know we can fix the craft stuff. Ends up taking a charge, but, you know, once again, we see the blow-by burst unimpeded by Hansel. And when he's not being checked by these, like, really big physical wings, he has no issues getting downhill. Just because, like, he has good burst, right? Good enough to beat a lot of matchups, but I don't think it's good enough to beat some of, like, the really high, high, the, the really high, high level matchups, which is obviously going to be important. Here we have Dillingham catching off the catch, and that's just gonna, his touch is absurd. I don't know how he makes some of the shots that he does. That's just really natural and really effective. And he's not creating a ton of space on these drives, which I don't love, right? But I do like that he can get once again get to whatever spot he wants. It's just when he's at that spot, he's probably gonna be at least a little bit contested. But he leaps off to again, I don't like love some of this like leaping really early. Like, technically, it's and fundamentally not the soundest, but he, he has the touch and he has the creativity to make it work. So I'm not going to criticize it too much, right? I think 
all of this stuff is more than fi- all of the stuff that I'm pointing out is like aside from maybe like the strength and size it, it is totally fixable and improvable but Rob definitely does seem like he has room to to get stronger whereas just just to my amateur eye like someone like Reed looks a little more filled out frame wise to me than Rob who's obviously very lean and, and slender and Reed is too but I think a little bit less so and obviously like, like the, the wingspan is not great for either of them but I think that that added strength would be huge for Rob right being able to just absorb more contact, hold up more on defense, which that's going to be a huge thing for him. Great kick out to read because Rob's defense, we're, we're not talking about it in this video, but it is not great at the moment. Love him. Off ball moving again. Notice Reed driving, force the help, or the help kind of just ball watches. So he's like, whoop, I'm going to slip behind you and pull up for an open three. It's good stuff. It really is. And this skip is also good stuff. Just whipping it to the opposite corner. That's just a ridiculous pass. Absolutely ridiculous pass. And, you know, in the NBA, hopefully that's going to be an assist. Just absurd. And he finishes this possession with a crazy deep three. <laughs> this is Rob Dillingham in a nutshell, right? Crazy, creative passes, cracking open the defense, deep, beautiful touch three. The things that Rob can do on a basketball court and... Great little pick and roll pass there to Aaron Bradshaw, who I'm at least mildly intrigued by. Um, I think he's joining everyone at Arkansas, right? Beautiful deceleration here. Hard plant to the right. He gets this defender to buckle, floats into that space, and ends up finishing. It's really, really great. Rob, pull up. This is, I'm not trying to be so overly positive, but I mean, his offense is really good, right? Like, I don't have. Obviously, we're, we're pointing out negatives, right? Like some of the inability to separate. But he really is a high, high-level shot maker with high, high-level touch. And that that can for sure take you far. As we've kind of said as, as we're wrapping this up, I want to see more unimpeded, easy creation. Like, you know, there's no one really defending him there. I want to see him separate from defenders 1v1 more consistently sprinting off movement there he's such a versatile shooter right i talk about volume and versatility it's really important and rob has both rob shoots high volume sprinting off threes obviously taking contested you know open separating for pull-ups and is that going in no but that's again another just creative counter spin into like the penny kind of step back doesn't generate a ton of push here but that is enough space for rob to make the shots that he needs to make and that, and as, as I've said before, right, I think these skills can take him far. But, yeah, let me know what you think of, of Rob Dillingham's offense. How good do you think it can be? Um, and sub, comment, like, feedback would always be awesome as well.